The spike in the number of COVID-19 cases in Nigeria has led to lockdown declared in states across the Federation. However, from artisans to office workers, students, civil servants, traders and persons involved in businesses, reports from Nigerians across the country show that the lockdown has had a significant level of negative impact as armed robbers, hoodlums, now take advantage of the lockdown to perpetrate nefarious acts. Joining us now via Skype is a former director at the State Security Service, Denis Amakre. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Good morning. Good morning. Several reports from residents have confirmed the fact that armed robbery hoodlums are taking advantage of the lockdown, most especially in states like Lagos and Ogun. Um, what's your observation as a security expert? Uh, we were not officially uh, very ready for them. Uh, the preparedness by the security agents um, was not uh, geared towards uh, encountering this set of people. Now, um, uh, what we were, we were uh, seeing was um, checkpoints. Uh, even the military that were deployed uh, should have other kind of um, jobs to do. But uh, they were mainly in checkpoints. And um, that gave um, a lot of leeway to these uh, hoodlums who are in the inner cities to operate. So I think um, they are learning from it and uh, they should be able to have to handle it. A, a lot of people have attributed it, some of the um, explanation for this spike in robbery and hooliganism uh, to hunger. They said that is the major reason as they're not getting the palliative uh, that the government has promised. Is that a good enough reason to engage in armed robbery or other form of violence at this time? Yeah, from the very day when the lockdown was uh, installed um, or, you know, operated, um, we mentioned it. I only mentioned it that, uh, yeah, the lockdown is good. It will help, uh, you know, uh, social distancing and everything. But if you lock down people, especially when it's a total lockdown and you don't uh, put into your plan the feeding of, um, of uh, people, even those who stocked up uh, food in their, in their houses are going to run out. And when they run out, then the next thing is for them to come out. You know, so um, and we were not very clear whether the lockdown was a total lockdown or it was a partial lockdown. Uh, but uh, from what the government is saying now and the plans they are having ahead of time, uh, they're going to allow certain windows for people to come out and then, um, you know, find something to do or eat or buy or uh, transact certain businesses uh, while we continue on this uh, pandemic journey. Some residents are now turning themselves to vigilantes, saying they do not believe in the capacity of the police to ensure security in their neighborhood. What's your thought? Is this a good development? Uh, very true that uh, the police is not up to it. And uh, that's, that's another thing that uh, the police left out. Uh, they didn't use all the resources available to them. You know, uh, we were expecting... Um, the police to reach out to uh, private security companies, all the guard companies you see all over the place. They are in houses, companies, and they didn't go home. Uh, they are locked down with these houses and offices. So uh, the police should have been able to reach out to them. And then, of course, they will be reporting what is going on. And then, of course, people are now turning around to go into self-help. I'm even surprised that... Uh, the uh, Amoteku that made a lot of news when they came out because of uh, uh, community policing are nowhere to be found. Um, the ones that in Lagos we saw the neighborhood watch, but they are with the police at the checkpoints. You know, so that is misplaced. We expect those uh, those neighborhood watches to be patrolling with all the vehicles they bought for them, patrol the inner cities not just to catch criminals, but also to help people that are in distress, you know, and that's uh, what they should have been doing. So I am not surprised when people come out and say, oh, we are going to help ourselves, and uh, they form themselves into vigilante, 
uh, to ward off these people. Security actually is everybody's business. Um, would you agree with uh, positions that the security agencies are maybe distracted by the need to enforce the lockdown order at the expense of maintaining internal security? Uh, yes, they were. They well, they are. They are. They are being um, number one. They don't have the capacity. Yeah, we don't have enough policemen. Uh, we even suggested it that uh, just like they do during elections, uh, they 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 will get policemen from other states and bring them to the hot spot. Uh, but this time they, they didn't do that, so their capacity is very low, and um, they should be able to. Um, uh, use the other resources that are available to them. Because if you don't do that, you cannot. And then, of course, change your operational strategy. All this checkpoint, checkpoint business, you know, they, we believe so much in checkpoints. And then, of course, with uh, the attendant uh, uh, unnecessary things that go on there. I expect response teams. Let there be a control room that is looking at... Um, uh, the whole city, you know, uh, use technology, drones and other surveillance uh, cameras so that they will now call on any uh, patrol team to respond to whatever or wherever there is a problem. All right. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us on the news. Thank you.